Using the magnitude and the direction, for including the projection in the xy plane, change f into Cartesian form. f is 800 newtons at 60 degrees from the positive x in the plane and 50 degrees above the plane up to the vector. Change f into Cartesian form. We want to take f and find u, v, w so that f is u times i plus v times j plus w times k. Newtons, uh, those are what we want to know. The first thing we want to do is identify what its projection means. The projection in the plane is that triangle right there. Now, it doesn't look like a triangle in a two-dimensional page, but if you wrote it around, changed it around a little bit, what you would have in the plane of of that, of those three lines, you have a, the actual z component w here, some projection in the plane, and f is your hypotenuse. This doesn't look like it, but this is in fact a right triangle. So we can use all of our nice trig functions. This is the projection to the vector that you were given. This is 50 degrees. So W is 800 sine 50. That's 612.84 newtons. That's just the magnitude of the hypotenuse times the sine of the angle. Straight trig. We can also find T. This is the projection in the plane. It's not actually one of the things that we're looking for, but we're going to need it in a second. This is going to be 800 cosine 50. T is 514.23. Once you have these two lengths, let's look at the other triangle in the plane. That's this one. Again, if you write it like this in a two-dimensional universe, it doesn't look even remotely like a nice right triangle. But this is perpendicular to the, the, the parallel, rather, to the x-axis. This is parallel to the y-axis. This is another right triangle. Let's look straight down on the page. If you draw it like this, it starts to look even more like a right triangle. And this is the other angle that you're given. This is our 60 degree angle from the positive x-axis. Now we can use some more trig. T we just found was 514.23 newtons. So U is T times cosine 60. This is 257.12. And V is T times sine 60 or 445.34. Answer the question. You always want to make sure that you've figured out you have actually done what you were looking for. What we have here is 613i plus 257i. I got it backwards. Let's try that again. 613k plus 257i plus 445j. Now, not only do you want to double check that you have, in fact, the i, j, and k components, this is i, this is j, and this is k, let's also check that we have found three components that have the same length. Pythagorean theorem is an easy enough thing to check. If you plug each of these components in, not t, mind you, but the other three, do you in fact get to 800? And in fact you do. So this vector has this same length and it's just a good check to find out that you have in fact found F in Cartesian form.